Warrendale Farms itself has been established for 30 years now, uh, having been established by Jim and Rachel Bloom in 1987 at High Warrendale Farm Water. The business is predominantly a poultry business and we produce half a million ducks a year for Facenda under their Cherry Valley brand and we produce around about 5 million point of lay hens a year for the free range egg market. So the history behind Wagyu is that its origins are from Japan and it literally translates the wa bit is Japanese and gu is cow. Japanese cattle uh, were kept really for the, for the emperor in Japan and the genetics weren't released to the world until around about the early 1980s uh, when, when genetics got sent to Australia and America. Uh, since then it's, uh, it, it's, it's grown rapidly uh, mainly in Australia where of the million Wagyu's that are in the world to date, around about 650,000 of them are located in Australia. People always ask me why we got into Wagyu, uh, and as a, as a farmer's son who spent many of his uh, youthful days running away from cattle, um, really one of, the, one of the main advantages of Wagyu for us is that they're such docile, calm animals, and great to handle, great to work on with, and they're very safe. We are responsible for every aspect of, a, of an animal's life from selecting the genetics that we breed from right through to the dairy farmers that we work with to produce the calves and the rearers and the growers and ultimately the finishers controlling what goes into each of those diets ensuring that the cattle have a happy and long lifetime and, uh, and ultimately produce great quality beef. One of the, uh, one of the other major benefits of, of Wagyu beef is due to the monounsaturated fats which is located in it which is the marbling that goes through the beef uh, rather than, than what you'd see on traditional beef which is the subcutaneous fat around the outside. Um, it means that it's very high in omega 3, 6 and 9 uh, which means that it's, uh, it's, a, it's a much faster, faster cooking product which is why you need to cut, cut steaks thin and flash fry for the best results. The great thing about our supply chain is we've got full control right back to the genetics and all the farmers involved. We make sure that we pay a fair price right through the supply chain to make sure we get the consistency of supply, the traceability and also the critical thing is animal welfare right through the supply chain making sure the meat quality is always high and consistent. I've been working with Warren Day Wagyu for 19 months now and my experiences are they're very easy carving, uh, very quiet nurtured and a good secondary income to my business here at Kirk Barrow Hall. We like working with the Warrendale Wagyu um, because we know where the cattle are coming from, we know when we can get the cattle and we know um, that we're part of the whole system rather than just being on an open market. So here at the restaurant we offer uh, all sorts of different cuts of Wagyu on the menu. Wagyu comes with uh, kind of great uh, kind of persona, people really see Wagyu as being fantastic meat. Um, so we do offer things like the sirloin, the ribeye, which are just a cut above the rest. They really are fantastic, but they do command the price. So if you want something a little bit different, the Wagyu also allows us to use things like the chuck steak which is marbled throughout, allowing us to use a cut that would usually be used as diced meat as a medium rare steak. So cut to eight ounces, it just eats fantastically medium rare.